Well, and it's a beautiful Thursday morning, right? Yes, no welcome rain. to the desk, by the way. Thank you. I would yeah. be out in the field right yes, now. Yes, you but would be. In beautiful weather, I'm assuming. It's it's decent. I mean, this morning it's a little muggy. Yeah. But, um, and by the way, Jordan and Taylor will be back next week, right? Monday. Monday. Monday, Monday Taylor okay. will be back. I'm not sure about Jordan. I think she's yep. heading back Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But they left you hanging today. They did a little bit. But you know what? You're here to pick, pick, it, <laughs> pick it right up. A nice job so far this morning. Thank it's, you, It's Dan. tough. Appreciate you got a lot, lot going on in your plate <laughs> this morning. So, Thank you. But weather-wise today, you know, we've been tracking the rain. We've been saying how the bulk of it's going to stay to the east. And really, that's the case. Not much. Coming in this morning, do you have uh, use your wipers at all? or No. Yeah. No. There, really, there wasn't there wasn't much. I mean, not that we're out of the woods completely right yet for any rainfall. We still do run the risk of a few showers this morning, but in terms of like flooding, rain, severe weather, that is just not going to be the case. Uh, we didn't expect it to be, and it's shaping up that way. We do have temperatures that are warmer, milder. When the 60s now, dew points right now are in the low to mid 60s as well. So what's going on is we have this area of low pressure, but it's generally too far to the east to give us anything significant. Maybe just a couple of spot showers this morning. High pressure builds offshore as we go through the day tomorrow, and that's going to bring back the heat and some humidity as well, especially as we head into this upcoming weekend. So today we stay in the 70s with lots of clouds. The clouds will linger this afternoon, but tomorrow we go right up into the upper 80s and we stay in the 80s as we head into the weekend as well. So if you're looking for that summertime feel, it is coming back. A couple of morning showers this morning and then just a few leftover clouds this afternoon. So this afternoon's mostly cloudy, but things will brighten up late afternoon as we go into the evening. The sun really returns tomorrow with the heat, with those readings coming up in the weekend, sun, a few clouds, but enough sunshine to keep things bright. It'll be a classic summertime weekend. It'll be warm and maybe just a stray shower Saturday and a few storms, perhaps Sunday afternoon. But most of the time, of course, it's not going to be raining. So readings this morning in the 60s compared to the last several mornings where we've been down into the 50s and even some 40s. So it is a milder start, a muggier start, too, with two points in the low to mid 60s. But in terms of rainfall, it's lining up off to the east from Providence to Boston. Right now, they have some good downpours in parts of the Cape picking up some rainfall as well. But for us, we just have some spotty showers. And here's our future cast going through the morning. All that rainfall lining up off to our east at 9 o'clock. A couple of showers around by noontime. It's just overcast. All the rain to the east. And notice how it's heading off to the north and the east away from the area. So this afternoon, a lot of clouds may linger on the backside of this storm system. But things brighten up. And then we'll have clearing skies as we go into tonight. Tomorrow is going to be a classic August day. Plenty of sun. It's going to be warm. Finally getting up into the 80s. We haven't had that in a number of days now. And the dew points, not too bad. Dew points will be in the lower 60s. They get a little more humid as we head into this upcoming weekend. So rain totals, not much here in western Mass. Maybe a tenth of an inch of rain. Rain totals will be higher out across eastern Mass. But even off to the east, and we're thinking maybe a few inches of rainfall, maybe just an inch from Boston to Cape Cod and the island. So the heavy rain stays east. 70 to 75 for us. It's a mostly cloudy day. A couple of morning showers, a bit of mugginess, and things brighten up as we head into the late afternoon and as we go into the evening. So highs up and down the valley will just generally be in the mid-70s, about 74 in Springfield and Hadley, Colerain about 75. And actually, the further west you go, it'll be a little warmer because Berkshire County will see a little bit more sunshine, Pittsfield about 78 degrees. So tonight, clearing, cool, comfortably so. Temperatures, upper 50s for lows, a little bit of patchy fog. And then tomorrow, we should have quite a bit of sunshine around tomorrow. And it's going to be, well, not overly humid. Dew points near 60. Temperatures, though, in the middle and upper 80s from Springfield. The Hilltown's just a little bit cooler. And that high-pressure system sets up offshore. So that's going to bring in the heat and the building humidity, especially as we head into this upcoming weekend with temperatures in the 80s. Nothing oppressive. Just normal stuff for August, middle 80s, the hottest day of the week, and probably Saturday, maybe a few degrees cooler on Sunday because there'll be a few more clouds around. And we run the risk of a few storms, especially Sunday afternoon and evening, and we'll stick with the warm stuff Monday, and we really may heat up by the middle of next week, perhaps getting into the lower 90s come Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, that's your forecast. We'll be back in a little while. Paris, back to you. Thank you, Dan. We're staying in Springfield, a scary situation after a toddler.